My name's Becky Zicard, and I'm a Wisconsin-holic. I thought last week was exciting. The schedule release. Week one in San Francisco. Ooh. Monday night football at Green Bay against the Bears. Awesome. So we had Jermichael tweeting that he would donate $500 to the One Boston Fund for every touchdown and drop pass. Hey, Jermichael, I like where your head's at. I like where your heart's at. Admittedly, I'm gonna cheer a bit more for the touchdowns. And Aaron last week was busy being hilarious at the Wisconsin Sports Awards. When asked about Greg Jennings, he said, Who? <laughs> Good one. Packers are funny. And I was stoked about Clay and his monster deal. Five year extension, $66 million. <gasps> Holy crap. You could buy a lot of fat ass with $66 million. I don't know if that would be terrifying or awesome. Cutler's worst nightmare. Then the draft started. Drama and intrigue, deals and trades and unexpected picks and, and picks that were expected but weren't picked. Huh. Geno Smith? First round, 26th pick, due to some crazy picks early on. There was a lot of talent left on the board, but who did the Packers take? Dayton Jones. The defensive end from UCLA. New age defender suited for the read option. You hear that, Kaepernick? Thank you, Vic Ketchman, editor of Packers.com, for that headline that gave me the freaking chills. Packer backers, if you haven't read that article, you should. If you aren't already excited, you sure as hell are going to be about our defense coming up next season. <laughs> and then pick two, Eddie Lacy, the big Bama back. Woo! He's a pounder. I could have really enjoyed seeing Monty Ball in green and gold, but Monty's a Bronco, Eddie's a Packer, and I think there are different styles of back, and I think, I think Eddie Lacy is really gonna take our offense to the next level. Rogers is probably pretty excited about that. Somebody to hand off to once in a while. Hot damn, that was a hell of a draft. And Ted we trust. <laughs> Taking a defensive end, Eddie Lacy still being available in the second round, offensive tackles, a couple wide receivers late, Jonathan Franklin, a running back from UCLA, that's two Bruins. LA represent. Micah Hyde, cornerback from Iowa. Packer Nation, get ready. I, I, I think, I think next season's gonna be awesome. Ah. Oh. And it's hard to watch those guys decked out in their finest. Pretty good. <laughs> Expecting to go early in the first rounds and getting passed on. And passed on. And passed on. Rogers knew what you were going through, Gino. Rogers even tweeted, hang in there, Gino. Good things come to those who wait. We all remember puppy dog eyed Rogers sitting there and getting passed on 23 times. Ridiculous, but awesome for us. On day two of the draft, the ultimate photo bomber photobombed the draft by getting a $110 million five-year extension, making him the highest paid player in NFL history. He deserves it. Boy, we'll pay you whatever you want. We just want you to retire in Green Bay in like a hundred years.